Hello, my name is Gaia Narciso and I'm the Head of the Department of Economics at Trinity College Dublin. In the next few minutes, I will talk about some ex exciting opportunities of studying economics at Trinity College Dublin. But first of all, let me start with a set of graphs that show the evolution over time of six very important indicators. You see that uh, uh, extreme poverty has substantially decreased over, over time, over the past two centuries. At the same time, the number of people gaining basic education or being literate has substantially increased. If we talk about quality of institutions uh, or democracy, you see that the number of people who uh, live in a democracy has increased over time. There are two health measures showed on, in these graphs. One is vaccination, the other one is child mortality. And as you can see, there is an improvement in both measures as the number of people who get vaccinated has exponentially increased over the past 60 years, while child mortality has decreased as the number of people who survive the first five years of life has substantially increased. All these graphs are extremely interesting not just because they show the evolution over time of our uh, living standards, but as an economist, you may wonder what prompted the start of this sustained increase in living standards and why did it happen in some countries? Why did it not happen in, in other countries? Uh, if you're looking for a more formal definition of what econom economics is, well, economics is the study of how society manages its scarce resources. Why scarcity? Well, not all our wants and needs uh, can be satisfied and therefore choices have to be made. Now whenever we make these choices we, we work in an environment where there is uncertainty or market failures and all of these can make our choices more difficult. But ultimately economics is the science of decision making. So if you're a household the question is who is going to supply labor and uh, how many hours of labor will be, uh, will be uh, supplied. If you are a firm, the question would be uh, what kind of goods or services will I produce and what kind of resources or inputs should I put into production? And at what price will I sell my product? I'm often asked as an economist what economists really do. Well, the answer is it depends. It depends on their field. Some economists are interested in understanding why some countries are rich and some other countries are poor. If you are a macroeconomist, you are interested in understanding recessions. And uh, if you are a behavioral economist, you may be interested in trying to understand why people ignore some information that could help them make better decisions. The current COVID-19 situation and its impact on the economy is being evaluated by many economists and there are so many aspects uh, that are being evaluated. Think about the effect of COVID-19 on globalization or the effect of uh, uh, COVID-19 on our cities now that individuals work remotely. Uh, economics uh, as, a f as, as a discipline can be divided in two main fields. This is uh, microeconomics, which is the study of how individuals and firms make decisions and how they interact in the market. Or macroeconomics, which is a study of uh, economy-wide phenomena, for example, inflation, unemployment, poverty, inequality, and so on. So the question is, why should you study economics? Well, um, it is a very uh, versatile discipline. It is relevant in many careers. So it is a platform for business, investment banking, law, accounting. If you're interested in political uh, in policy analysis, then it will allow you to, for example, to evaluate programs. What type of development program works? Which one doesn't? If you are a macroeconomist, you may wonder about what type of uh, borrowing or lending restrictions should be in place. In terms of career, careers, there is a very wide spectrum from teaching media. Uh, you could also work in government agencies, the European Central Bank, uh, Central Bank of Ireland, the IMF. There are many uh, opportunities opening up. Uh, I'm often asked the question uh, about how much maths there is in economics. Well, I will not deny there is a bit of maths, but there is also abstract reasoning. Uh, economists that uh, work using uh, uh, economic models, so theoretical models. So it is really a combination of a real world observation and abstract reasoning. You will gain a quantitative skills but also qualitative ones. And again, this will allow you to, to have uh, uh, the opening up of different pathways from policy to finance to development and so on. So 
uh, economics at Trinity. How can you study economics at Trinity? Well, there are different pathways. There is uh, uh, BES, Business Economics, Political Science and Sociology. We have 236 students per year. Uh, 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 starting uh, studying best. Uh, there is another option which is PPS, uh, Economics, Philosophy, Political Science and Sociology with a quota of 34 students. Or you can study economics uh, in joint honors with other disciplines uh, such as geography, history, mathematics, uh, philosophy, sociology and modern languages. Now next, CEO points. Well, for BES, uh, in, in, in 2019, um, uh, the, the CO points for BES were 518, for PPS was 566, and for the various uh, joint honors combinations, uh, the CO points varied from 499 to 555, depending on uh, the, the combinations. So why should you study economics at Trinity then? Well, first of all, the department offers uh, uh, um, uh, in, in an environment that is very supportive and stimulating. Uh, teaching is truly research-led, which means that uh, uh, students are exposed to, to, to academics uh, that are researchers. And uh, uh, it, 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 especially in third and fourth year, you will be exposed uh, really to topics that are at the frontier of research. And also we have a research excellence in many fields, such as development economics, international macroeconomic history, urban economics, political economy. Um, the degree program is a four-year degree program. In third year, you will get the chance to, to study abroad. Uh, there is, uh, the, the department has an international reputation with staff members who got their PhDs from Harvard, uh, at the London School of Economics, Oxford, Trinity, Bocconi University. Uh, we will have uh, uh, lectures, but we also have uh, tutorials, which means that uh, uh, tutorials will be smaller classes where students can interact with their lecturer or teaching assistant and uh, really provides a very interactive environment. We have also a tutor system, which means that each student is assigned a tutor that provides support to the student. And we also have many student activities from debates to the student economic uh, review, there are many activities where students are involved. Uh, finally, in terms of uh, the type of modules that, that, uh, that we offer, in the first two years, we really provide the foundations for economics, uh, uh, intro to economics, uh, maths and stats, and then in second year, we will provide uh, uh, further intermediate economics, economy of Ireland, but it's really in third and fourth year where you really will get a chance to see the various uh, subfields in economics, from European economy to um, uh, money and banking, from development economics uh, to uh, history economic thought, you really will be exposed to the different branches of, of economics. Uh, we value critical thinking and we value uh, critical analysis. So this is something that it will be the common thread throughout our, our modules. So feel free to reach out if you have any questions and I look forward to seeing many of you next year studying economics at Trinity College.